nervous at first, but when the pilot put out the one minute call, they put their game faces on and made the transition from soldier to warrior. When the ramp dropped, that's when their training kicked in and they fed off each other's courage. Once their boots hit the ground, it was a complete brownout. There was dust and smoke everywhere, and they were in a pretty fierce firefight right off the bat. Firing. 
government, but they didn't have much time. The rescue force continued engaging enemy combatants while ushering the hostages to safety. Sergeant Major said to get the hostages out of there. The rescue force made a human wall so the hostages could run safely behind them. Anytime the rescue force engaged enemy combatants, the hostages would stop running, presumably out of fear, so they had to stop shooting for the hostages to continue running. Sergeant First Class Payne ran back into the building and noticed a large man who had basically given up on life and was laying on the ground. Sergeant First Class Payne grabbed the man and pulled him safely out of the building. Sergeant First Class Payne ran into the building one last time, making a final visual check before being the last man out. last 